This is Fox 13 News at 4. Well, good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining us for Fox 13 News. I'm Matthew Smith. And I'm Hannah Kim. Well, breaking news is first at four. One person is dead and one person was injured in a plane crash at Lake Sammamish. This happened just after 11 a.m. northeast of Weona Park. We have live team coverage tonight. Fox 13's Dave Detling heard from witnesses who raced into action after that plane crash. But we start with Fox 13's Nikki Torres, live at Lake Sammamish with how this all happened. Nikki. Well, this scene is a lot quieter than it was from earlier this afternoon. It's even a little bit eerie, really, because we still have the float plane in the water. However, we don't have any of the people here anymore. A couple hours ago is when the scene kind of cleared out. We had the police department, fire department, medical examiner. They all left, but the boat is still in the water. You can see the scene is very much stabilized at this point. Earlier this afternoon, we were watching divers and crews on the dock pulling the plane with ropes. They were trying to get it in the position that they wanted. And then just a couple hours ago, the oil spill response team also came to the scene. They put down those large booms in the water. It's acting as a perimeter. This is for any fuel or any other chemicals that get into the water as they shifted it around. Earlier, we could smell the jet fuel, so the booms, they are preventing water pollution to get into the lake. Now, we did speak with Bellevue Fire earlier today. They responded to this call along with Bellevue Police. They told us that around 11 this morning, they were getting multiple calls in for a float plane crash in Lake Sammamish. People who live around the lake, they told emergency crews that they saw the plane came down, come down rather, and here's how they described it. It appeared like it was attempting to take off two to three times. It sounded like the engine was stalling. This And this is what they told me. Um, one resident described it as being when they hit 50 feet in the air, it just took a nosedive and went straight into the water. According to Bellevue Fire, this float plane had a boat-like hull that allowed it to land in the water rather than wing pontoons. We are still learning to, we are still trying rather to learn more about the aircraft and its flight path leading up to the accident. Regardless, neighbors told us that it has been years since anyone has seen an aircraft emergency on the lake with an experimental plane going into the water back in 2009. A devastated, devastated, because we have young kids, and I always worry about something bad happening on the water. And I've never thought that there would be a plane crash. Um, more of a boating accident is more where my fear lies, but the plane crash is just really heartbreaking. These photos that you're looking at were taken by a resident on the lakeside. You can see the float plane, the sheriff's office search and rescue boat, along with a recreational boat. That recreational boat had several nearby residents on it. They were good Samaritans who saw what happened and actually got into the water to try and rescue the two men. When firefighters arrived, those good Samaritans were already performing CPR. Now, Bellevue Fire says moving forward with this investigation, it will be the FAA and the NTSB who will move forward to figure out what happened in the lead up to this crash. We're live at Lake Sammamish. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News. Nikki, thank you so much. And our live team coverage continues now with Fox 13's Dave Detling. Yeah, Dave, you've been gathering more details about the people on board, but it also sounds like we're learning more about the people who raced into the water to save them. Absolutely. This has been an emotional day here for this Lakeshore community. Uh, people telling us that it was that actual father and son who were on board that plane when it crashed into the lake. Take a look behind me. You can see the dock right there. That's where people were pulled, the individuals rather, were pulled to safety and where CPR was started. People tell me this was a community effort to save the men's lives. Neighbors along Lake Sammamish say they didn't hesitate when they saw the float plane crash into the water around 11 a.m. There was one other boater had got there, and there's uh, one of the one of the victims. Uh, one of the victims was had been, I guess, thrown out of the wreckage. And he this man who asked to, that we not show his I face says he and other boaters rushed out into the middle of the lake. He dove into the water to help the pilot who was seat belted in and trapped under the water. I brought him out of the cockpit, got him up on the bottom of the wing. Uh, and then started compressions on the wing, but the wing's super slippery. Giving CPR, the boaters say they rushed back to the shoreline where another neighbor with a medical background was waiting. We got them up on the swim step and then raced them over to my neighbor who's a, who's a, a doctor and, uh, and we were performing CPR the whole way across and we got him to the dock with a pulse. Unfortunately, he did not survive. His wife requesting that she see her husband and hold his hand before the medical examiner arrived. A 
ton of compassion for the family. Um, you know, my, my kind of compliments to kind of King County's um, sheriff and, and Bellevue Fire Department did a great job. And them, they, you know, they carried, carried his wife down and she couldn't make it down. And that was, it was quite a moment. As the investigation into the crash continues, neighbors say they're working through what was an emotional day, one that brought them closer together as they attempted to save lives. And if it hadn't have been for folks that raced out to help, um, the son may not have survived because he had, a, you know, significant injuries. And really, these neighbors dealing with this emotional fallout from today's tragedy. Now, according to hospital staff, that secondary victim, uh, who neighbors say was the son of that pilot, uh, his condition, we're told, his vital signs have stabilized. He was originally listed in critical condition. And like uh, my teammate had said, uh, this crash still under investigation, but a lot of heavy hearts tonight along the shoreline. We're live tonight. Dave Detling, Fox 13 News. Dave, thank you.